Uh, Chris, take a look at yourself. Has anything changed? Well, I mean, my my head, it's back to you. I guess saying yes to your deal was a good option, maybe? Oh, yes, Chris. Yes, it was. Now you will work. But don't worry. You don't need to work too hard. You just need to work. Now, tell me this. Do you still wonder what happened to Christy and Imagine Doggos? Well, 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 of course I do. I mean, they're practically my friends. But Imagine Doggos, we basically just met. Even, even Christy. I'm sorry to tell you this, but no. This is not the first time that Imagine Doggos and Christy have met. You see, it took place in 106 BC. Christy was just born. And yes, Christ, and yes, Christy wasn't human before. She met a dog. She met, she wanted it so much. The fact that she was an orphan, she ran away from her orphanage, but she couldn't have time to do this. I mean, she sure did, but you see, the problem is she had a mean matron, Miss Beverly. Wait, this is, you're right, except there's one big problem. <clears throat> Her name isn't Christy, it's Esther. You have seen the film, haven't you? Glass and blood. It's a very good film. Even you should watch it. Well, so, I guess that... You understand all what happened to her. She was locked up in the cellar and everything. Want me to tell you why a name is not Christy? Oh, oh my, yes please. Oh gosh, thank you for your manners. Anyway, she was always known. And, well, the director of the film put it down that it was made in 1950. That was a lie. <clears throat> He made, he made a very big mistake. Esther, who, who was found again by Miss Beverly, was put away, and then she escaped. But she didn't want to be known as a local Esther with rainbow hair. She wanted to dye her hair to be blue. She cut it a little bit. It looked nice. And now she thought of a great name. So she goes by the name Christy. That's that name she thought of. Huh? Maybe. But there's still one thing I don't get. Why did this happen to them? Why did you do this or what happened to them? I'm afraid to tell you this, but there's a force with a much greater magic than I have. It's very, very strong and could easily hurt you. <sighs> May you battle this force? Please? Pretty, pretty please? I mean, I know you can do it. You're strong. But you don't want to go alone, do you? A force greater than you? Um, a force greater than you? More powerful? I was almost severely hurt. I could have even died when you, um, when I was in the battle with you. And sure, I was with someone, but a force greater than you, I probably would die. I don't think I can survive this. I mean, I just want to know what happened. All I want to know is what happened to my friends. Don't tell me that this has to do with... force greater than you does it. I'm afraid to tell you that's just what it is. It's a force it's the force greater than me. Some call it evil and some call it the darkness. The darkness. It's the darkness. You need to be very careful while battling this. Trust me, you're not going alone. But 
So now, do you understand what happened to your friends? Why all of this is happening? Do you still... I'll tell you all about this force greater than me. Now, you see, this force was born around the same time Esther was born. It was human, except no one ever liked him. He was always teased for being different. Like, for example, say if Wednesday Adams went to school. Yes, I've seen the movie. It's great. Anyway, so, for example, if she went to school, she might get, I don't know, maybe teased for all the creepy stuff she does around the other children. It's just like that. Except he was much more terrifying. He drew horrifying pictures. Everyone was terrified of him. They didn't, they never knew what to do. But then they realized what they had to do. They threw him into the water. He survived, but was mad. There was something in his heart forcing him to turn evil. He turned, and he then turned evil. He couldn't control himself anymore. It was what the thing that controlled him wanted. If they wanted him... It's just... It's weird. I mean, this whole force grave and me thing, it's weird. It doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you all about this force greater, but the thing is, we need to fight it. We can't just be talking about it, we need to fight it. So it doesn't get, so it doesn't understand that we know what to do. You must do the same. Throw him into the water. It will hypnotize him and will make him turn good again. And then he will be the ones who gives a ma- and then he'll give you imagine doggos and Christy. Then life will be back to normal. Except there's one thing I didn't think about. Taking you and Christy home. Oh my. I can't believe this. Well, believe me. We bring a teleporter. But it's not like I can just teleport to that thing. We need to find it first. Baba. What was that? I'm afraid it is the force greater than me. We must fight it now, Chris. We don't have enough time. This is all just insane and it might be a lot to take in, but listen to me, Chris. If anything bad happens, I just need to tell you. Remember, if you're really hurt, throw him into the water. I'll be with you, but he's a force greater than me. And by the way, why do I look so much like Baby Yoda? Even I don't know that story, Chris. <laughs> but now that you know, I can't come with you, Chris. But now that you know everything about this force greater than me, destroy him, find out his identity, do everything you can with him. But if it's not too much to ask, Don't forget to get him to free your friends. They all need help, too. Now, Chris, what do you say? Do you want to do this? Anything for my friends. Which is a yes. But seriously, don't you think this is a little extreme? No. Fine. I'll go. (gasps) Baba. It's getting louder. Ba ba. It's getting closer. Ba ba. Oh no. Ba ba. Imagine. Ba ba. Ah! What happens? Find out in Imagine Doggos episode eight. This series is really getting good. It's famous.